Amazon is home to around a million sellers with each trying to make the most of the marketplace. Most Amazon sellers spend a lot of money on marketing and store management to ensure high sales. Now, what if I told you that Amazon offers a powerful tool that provides data and sites in one place and helps you plan your next move? Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to talk about Amazon Seller Central reports and how it will help you eliminate the guesswork, track your account's health and improve your business's profitability. Here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. Let's dive into the essential reports that can help you manage your business effectively. To begin, open the main menu located at the top left of your Amazon Seller Central screen, hover over reports and you'll see a convenient drop down menu that offers various ex report options. We'll explore the most valuable ones, business reports, advertising reports, payment reports and inventory reports. As a seller, it's critical to identify sales trends, recognize your top performing products and discover new opportunities to grow your business. That's where business reports come to the rescue. To access these reports, simply follow these steps. Click on the main menu located in the top left corner of Seller Central, then hover over reports and select business reports. This will take you to the sales dashboard page where you'll find a handy summary of your sales metrics. It's a gold mine of information for identifying the trends and taking quick action. In the sales snapshot section, you will see your current sales and the order performance. To get a better perspective, you can compare these numbers to the performance from yesterday, the same day last week, or even the same day last year. Want to customize the view? No problem. You can select a customized date range, specific category or fulfillment method and then click apply or uh, update the page. You can also toggle between graph view and table view and use checkboxes to filter the data in the compare sales option. Keep in mind that the sales snapshot is refreshed about once per hour. So be sure to check back regularly. Now let's explore the reports available on the left side of the sales dashboard page arranged by date, ASIN and other categories. I recommend starting with the detailed page sales and traffic by child item report. This report provides valuable insights into the performance of your products and their variations. When a product has variations, we call the main product the parent item and its variations are the child items. For instance, if you sell pants in different sizes and colors, the pants represent the parent item while variations like blue and medium represent the child items. The detailed paid sales and the traffic by child item report focuses on the child items allowing you to compare how each unique variation performs. By default, this report covers a one month time frame, but you can choose a specific date range for a more detailed review. Now let's talk about strategies. Here are a few recommendations for interacting with the report and shaping your business decisions. Sort the ordered product sales column in descending order to identify the child items with the highest unit sales. Sort the ordered product sales column in ascending order to pinpoint the child items with the lowest unit sales. Sort the page views column in ascending order to see which items customers encounter most frequently or in descending order to identify those they encounter less often. If an item isn't selling well despite high page views, consider adjusting the price to make it more competitive. If page views are low, you might benefit from promoting the product through coupons or sponsored product campaigns. Keep in mind that returns and refunds aren't automatically factored into these reports. 
To include them, click on Show or Hide columns. Select the check boxes next to Units Refunded, Refund Rate and Claims Account and click Save columns to display these values. Just like the sales dashboard, you can modify the report to show a custom date range. Remember to bookmark the page in your browser or copy and paste the URL into the personal loads to save the selected report parameters. If you would like to download this or any other business reports, click on download.csv at the top of the reports page. For more information on the metrics included in the detailed page sales and traffic by child item report, select learn more at the top of the page or click on the column titles for insights. Additionally, I recommend exploring the sales and traffic and seller performance business reports. The former helps you review your daily sales metrics through a line graph or a detailed table in each table column. You'll find an icon that reveals a drop-down list when clicked. This allows you to remove a metric from your report, add a metric to the line graph, or read a brief description of what each metric measures. The seller performance report is particularly useful for understanding the customer satisfaction, now here are a few metrics you'll find in this report. The refund rate metric shows the percentage of your orders that are being returned or refunded. The received negative feedback rate metric calculates the percentage of orders that received negative feedback on the specified date. Lastly, the buy week and buy month metrics give you a broader view of customer satisfaction over those particular timeframes. You can even select the custom dates or to tailor the report to your needs. As the next step, I highly recommend uh, customizing your reports and determining which reports, metrics and timeframes work best for your business. Experiment with different combinations to gain valuable insights and make data-driven decisions that will fuel your business growth. Remember, these business reports are powerful tools that help you understand your sales performance, identify different trends, and even seize opportunities. By leveraging the data at your fingertips, you can fine-tune your strategies, optimize your product offerings, and ultimately achieve greater success on Amazon. So dive into those reports and unlock the full potential of your business. Also, the biggest sales event of the year is just around the corner. If you are an Amazon seller, you definitely don't want to miss out on this amazing opportunity known as the Amazon Prime Day. It's an incredible two-day deal extravaganza exclusively for Prime members and it's the perfect chance for you to showcase your products and boost your sales like never before. Now, Prime Day is the ultimate platform to reach millions of eager shoppers who are on the lookout for the best deals. Whether you are selling electronics, fashion, beauty products or home goods, the possibilities are endless. Now, this is your golden opportunity to get your products in front of a massive audience and establish yourself as a top seller on Amazon. To gain a competitive edge during this period, SellerApp's Prime Day report can be a real game changer for you. It provides a comprehensive analysis of Amazon Prime Day 2022, offering exclusive insights on buyer order, the spend, category trends, sponsored advertising highlights, and much more. With the help of this report, you'll be well equipped to make the most out of the Prime Day and boost your revenue. So get ready to seize this amazing chance to showcase your products, reach new customers and skyrocket your sales on Amazon Prime Day. The next set of reports you need to focus on are the advertising reports. If you have a professional selling account, you have access to various advertising reports for your campaigns. It's crucial to keep an eye on your campaign's performance, whether you are running sponsored products, sponsored brands, or sponsored display campaigns with manual or automatic targeting. Now, these reports allow you to identify which strategies are working well and which ones could be used for some tweaking. 
Now to access your advertising report, simply follow these steps. First, select the menu located on the top left corner of the Seller Central. Then hover over reports and choose the advertising reports. You will be taken to the reports page where you can find any reports you have already created. From there, you can download a report or use the actions drop down menu to make the copies or delete reports. If you want to create a new advertising report, click the create report button and select from the report category menu that is sponsored products, sponsored brands or sponsored display or the Amazon attribution. I'm choosing sponsored products. Next, select a report type based on the insights you want to review. If you need more information about each report type, click on the question mark icon on the top right corner of the page. In this walkthrough, we'll create a search term report. Now this report helps you understand which search terms consumers used in the Amazon store that resulted in at least one click in your ad. Now you can choose between a summary or daily time unit and select a time frame from the report period menu. When selecting the time frame, keep in mind that it may take 7 to 14 days to attribute a sale to a specific customer click. In the reporting settings section, you can give a report a descriptive name. For example, using a name like search term report for the last 30 days instead of a generic name like sponsored products report will help you remember what information is included in that particular report. If you want to receive a notification mail when the report is generated or if you want to send it to someone else, enter the appropriate email addresses in the recipients field. Now, alternatively, you can also check the reports page to see the status of each report. You can choose to generate the report immediately, schedule it for a future date, or set it to recur on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Once you have completed the new report page, click Run Report. When the report is ready, you will see Completed in the status column. Download the file and open it with the spreadsheet application to review the data. Once open, you can apply different filters to the columns and start analyzing the spend and sales data to identify the keywords that are performing well or poorly. Also keep an eye on the ACOS column to determine the profitability of each keyword. Take the list of keywords that are performing well and consider adding them to a manual campaign so you can bid more aggressively on them. On the other hand, identify the keywords that are not performing well for your campaigns and you can add them as negative keywords within your campaigns where they are you know, spending a lot. I recommend generating and reviewing reports at least every two weeks to gain valuable insights and even make necessary adjustments to your advertising strategy. Now you have the tools to create and review sponsored products reports which will help enhance the performance of your advertising campaigns. Now the next set of reports which are equally important are payments reports. When you click on it, the page will open on the statement view tab, giving you a quick overview of your current total balance, available funds and recent payouts. If you want to view the dashboard for a different settlement period, simply choose a date from the drop-down menu. The breakdown of your sales, refunds, fees, reserves are available, uh, refunds will be displayed. Now in this section, you can obtain a more detailed breakdown on fees by clicking on the Amazon Pay Fees. Moreover, below the breakdown, you'll find the information on when your funds are scheduled to be transferred to your bank account. If you need a printed statement view of the selected period, click on the print statement. Alternatively, you can view the transactions for that period by clicking on the provided link. Now, by following the link, you will be directed to the transaction view page, which can also be accessed by clicking on the transaction view tab. This page or tab represents all the transactions of your chosen settlement period you have the option to filter transactions by type within a settlement period, past number of days or a custom date range that you can specify. Moving on, let's explore the All Statements tab. 
here you can download the settlement reports to review the movement of funds for each settlement period. Now let's take a look at the disbursement tab. Now this tab provides the status of your disbursements in each settlement cycle. You can select a specific time period to review and track the progress of your funds in the disbursement cycle. Important details such as the trace ID for fund transfer in the banking network and the settlement group ID that is Amazon's unique identifier for the settlement period, payout status and payment amount are all available in this page. If you want to go back to the statement view, simply click view summary to download the settlement report for your chosen settlement period, use the download button. Now, if you need to view the multiple settlement reports simultaneously, click on the date range reports tab from this page. Here you can generate a monthly transaction report or a custom date range report by clicking on the generate report button. Please note that when generating date range reports, if you select the current date or future date, the report will be generated only after the date has passed. After entering your custom date range, click generate. Once your report has been processed, you can click the refresh link and then select the download button to obtain the report. That's all about your go-to financial dashboard, which provides you with valuable insights into when and how much you'll be paid. It's an essential tool for managing your finances effectively and staying on top of your business operations. Now, the next crucial reports are inventory reports. All sellers with a professional selling account have an access to a number of inventory reports for their products in the Amazon store. These reports allow you to monitor your inventory levels, check performance queues, identify suppressed items and spot inactive or low quality products. To access your inventory reports, follow these simple steps. Firstly, open the main menu in the seller central, hover over reports and select the inventory reports. You'll be presented with a drop down menu where you can choose the specific report you want to generate. Now, each report type is accompanied by a summary of what it includes. Once you have made your selection, click on the customize columns for this report. A new page will appear showing additional metrics and attributes. From the available options, choose the metrics you want to include in your report by clicking add. If you decide to remove any metric, simply select it from the selected attributes list and click on remove. Once you are satisfied with your customization, click save to preserve your settings or click reset to revert to the default settings. Now return to the inventory reports page and select the request report to generate your customized report. If you don't need to make any changes, you can simply click request report directly. Keep in mind that it typically takes around 45 minutes for the report to be generated. So be aware that your inventory may change during this time. So once the report is ready, you can find it in the report status and download columns on the inventory reports page. Look for the report with a status of ready to download and click the corresponding download link. Now you are all set to dive into your inventory reports and analyze the data. These reports are immensely useful for uh, spot checking your inventory trends and comparing them against your own records. Take advantage of the insights they provide to make informed decisions about your inventory management. Now, Amazon Seller Central reports are a treasure trove of valuable information that can greatly impact your success on the marketplace. By regularly studying and taking action based on these reports, sellers increase their chances of thriving on Amazon. However, analyzing reports and making necessary changes requires more than just the financial investment. It demands thoughtful decision making. Thankfully, you can outsource end to end Amazon services to make the best of your report insights. Sellerapp is the ultimate expert 
in managing the Amazon seller reports. Whether you have questions or concerns, a dedicated team is here to support you every step of the way. Reach out to us on support at sellerapp.com for any assistance you need. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Sellerapp. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topic. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!